Hey, welcome back. It's Mr. Shrum, and we're on the second part of the nervous system part two section of physiology. We just got done talking about impulses, nerve impulses, uh, action potentials, things along those lines. And now we're going to look at the effects of chemicals and drugs because many chemicals and drugs achieve their desired outcome by affecting the nervous system. And one of the examples in the lesson are nerve gases. They act at the postsynapse neuron by inhibiting the enzyme acetylcholinesterase. And as a result of that, the postsynaptic neuron will stay stimulated and that can cause uncontrolled tremors, spasms, and death. So that is not a good thing. However, sometimes chemicals and drugs are used to affect the nervous system to help benefit us. And a good example of that would be a dentist using Novocaine or Xylocaine. These chemicals prevent the opening of sodium channels in the postsynaptic neuron. Therefore, an action potential isn't transmitted to the postsynaptic neuron, so no pain is felt. Um, neurons can com communicate with each other, and sometimes that communication is pain. And pain to let your body know that whatever's happening is no good. But sometimes pain is necessary to fix certain problems like um, issues with your teeth, right? And so if pain is unnecessary, like your body doesn't need to know what to do because the dentist is fixing something for you, so that pain is not uh, necessary. So we can neutralize that pain, let the dentist do whatever he or she wants, and go about your day. So that's a good use of uh, pain relief. But in this lesson, we're gonna learn about the effects of the following neurological drugs, like alcohol, marijuana, cocaine, barbiturates, and amphetamines. We're gonna start out with alcohol. And drinking alcohol is actually ethyl alcohol. This is a drug found in many different types of beverages. Um, examples are beer, wine, liquor, even, even a little kombucha is not even technically a, an alcoholic beverage, but it's slightly alcoholic. Ethyl alcohol enhances the action of an inhibitory neurotransmitter. This decreases the chances that the neuron will generate an action potential. So the effects of ethyl alcohol, we classify that as a depressant, which means it slows the brain's ability to function. Therefore, alcohol severely impairs the drinker's ability to think, memorize, and concentrate if you do overindulge. This leads to a decrease in drinker's academic achievement. Uh, yeah, and yeah, if you're always drinking, that can happen. Other effects of ethyl alcohol include decreased motor performance, increased aggressiveness, liver damage, like cirrhosis of the liver, intestinal damage, brain damage, physical and psychological dependence, birth defects. So if you're a woman and you're pregnant, do not drink. You will harm your baby and you're a horrible, irresponsible person. If ethyl alcohol is consumed in large amounts in a short period of time, it can cause too much depression of the central nervous system resulting in death. So don't do that. Uh, it's just not, not smart. If ethyl alcohol is consumed in large amounts. Uh, yeah, so alcohol poisoning, uh, over intoxication, uh, bad news all around. Marijuana is grown as a wild weed in many areas of the world. In this country, we refer to refer to it as pot 
or uh, grass sometimes. Marijuana is still used in some cases. Weed, um, I hear a lot more these days. The leaves are dried and used to make marijuana cigarettes called joints. Well, yeah, like, yeah, sure. Um, there are other methods. The active ingredient in marijuana is tetrahydrocannabinol, or THC. And THC works by mimicking a neurotransmitter your body makes called anandamine, anandamide, sorry, <laughs> anandamide. And that is located in regions of the brain that control short-term memory, coordination, learning, and problem solving. Here's the chemical uh, symbol for that. When THC mimics anandamide and binds to the receptor sites, it causes adverse effects such as short-term memory loss, decreased coordination, poor judgment, loss of motivation, loss of appetite, psychological dependence, lung damage. Um, in certain cases, uh, not for everyone though. Alcohol, let's see what they said for alcohol. Now this is all assuming that you're taking too much of these substances. Cocaine is found in the leaves of uh, coca plants. It can be chewed, injected, smoked, or inhaled through the nose. Uh, so snorting coke. Cocaine inhibits an excitatory neurotransmitter from being absorbed. Since the neurotransmitter remains, the synapse continues to be active, causing euphoria felt by the user. Um, it's usually shorter than other um, highs, some would say. With continued cocaine, oh, sorry, with continued cocaine use, the body will begin to produce less of the neurotransmitter to compensate for the excess stimulation. As a result, the cocaine user will need more and more cocaine to achieve the desired euphoria. So it's like they're they're building up a tolerance and they need more and more to achieve the same feeling they had. Effects of cocaine include physical and psychological dependence, may induce uh, seizures or strokes, birth defects, uh, brain damage. And this is all if you overindulge in these uh, substances. Barbiturates, uh, barbiturates are a classification of drugs that depress the central nervous system. They interfere with the synthesis and release of neurotransmitters. Barbiturates also decrease the sensitivity of the postsynaptic neuron. Medically, barbiturates are used to induce sleep, reduce tension, and control seizures. Some of the side effects of barbiturates, drowsiness, impaired judgment, weight loss, constipation, and physical and psychological dependence. Amphetamines are a classification of drugs that stimulate the central nervous system. They stimulate the synthesis and release of neurotransmitters. Amphetamines also increase the sensitivity of the postsynaptic neuron. Medically, amphetamines are used to lessen fatigue, lessen depression, treat obesity, and promote alertness. Side effects of amphetamines include malnutrition, hallucinations, paranoid schizophrenia, poor judgment, strain on the heart, severe exhaustion when the drug wears off. Substance abuse is the unnecessary or improper use of a drug for non-medical purposes. Substance abuse includes taking more medicine than necessary or prescribed, and we call that overdosing. 
This practice of overdosing on prescription drugs or over-the-counter drugs can be fatal. The effects of any form of substance abuse are serious and dangerous. Some of the physical and psychological consequences of substance abuse include the following. Tolerance, withdrawal symptoms, physical dependence, psychological dependence, addiction. Tolerance is the need for more and more of a substance to achieve the same effect. Withdrawal symptoms are psychological and physical responses to the absence of a given substance once your body has adapted and it almost sees itself requiring it to some degree. Physical dependence is when the body acquires a chemical need for the substance, while psychological dependency occurs when a person believes that the specific drug is needed in order to be happy or to function normally. The effects of using a controlled substance can lead to addiction. Addiction is a physical and psychological dependency on the drug. So we, we had a mix of naturally occurring drugs. Well, so yeah, naturally, no one is prescribing alcohol these days. They, they used to, they did used to prescribe alcohol for certain ailments. Uh, marijuana, um, it does have some medical benefits. Uh, but currently, it's federally illegal in this country for um, some reason. Some states have chosen to decriminalize and legalize marijuana. However, it still stands that people are being fined uh, for smoking a natural substance. Cocaine also an illegal, illegal substance. And then we get into the prescriptions, the barbiturates and the amphetamines. Um, although those are legal and prescription, they have bad effects on your body too if you abuse them. So really just be smart, consider what you're taking and putting into your body. Um, yeah, just be careful. Uh, we know a lot of famous people that have overdosed or gotten too fixated on drug use. Um, a lot of younger, younger actors and musical artists. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with them. Uh, but just be careful. And all right, that's it. That's got a little too real. So if you have any questions or you want to talk about something like this, be sure to message me. We can talk and I'm always here. So until next time, have a great day slash week and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.